Hello church family. It is Monday night. This is Pastor Ben. I just wanted to uh, shoot a quick video uh, here this evening just to, to talk to you a little bit about what's going on with the coronavirus and you know everything that we're facing right now uh, with all the uncertainty and not knowing what is ahead or even how bad uh, this uh, pandemic is going to be uh, not only for our church but but for our community as a whole and there are two words that I wanted to share with you here tonight and as we focus on these two words um, in facing the, the season of insert uncertainty and and uh, again not knowing what is ahead of us uh, know that that these two words that I believe may help us is is we will and what I mean by that is first we will be friendly and, and I say that because um, for the last couple days um, I've been hearing a bunch of stories not necessarily anyone specifically from our church or anyone I know for that matter but but if you've been to the store, I know my daughter and I went to went to Kroger's last night, and uh, we walked in, and the shelves were bare. And I don't think I've ever been in a store uh, with that many empty shelves. But but I, I keep hearing uh, these stories of people going and they're hoarding and they're they're uh, buying all of these items and stocking up. And and, and I don't have anything against of being prepared and, and preparation and preparing for even the unknown. But, but during this time of uncertainty, I think it's important for us to also consider other people. I know there are a lot of older people who can't get out um, as frequent as, as those who are younger because of the uh, because of their age or th that they're they're more inclined to uh, more contagious, I guess you could say, or, or likely to catch uh, the virus than somebody else whose immune system is, is much better than theirs. Uh, just trying to be considerate of those people as well as those uh, those who are younger than us. Uh, I heard a story just uh, this morning about a mother went to the store to buy some formula for her kid, but it was all purchased. Um, somebody had bought it all. And just trying to be considerate of all people, to be friendly uh, with everyone, know that we're in this together as a community. Um, and we as the church, uh, we are to be a light. We are to be a one of love and, and, and one who shows grace and mercy to people around us. Uh, the Apostle Paul, he writes in Philippians, he says, let, let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interests of others. And just taking the time to look, uh, look and to look out for other people, and just uh, to respect and help other people any way we can. Uh, also, we will uh, have faith in a time that we face of much uncertainty, not knowing what's around the corner, not knowing how bad uh, this pandemic is going to become in our nation, in our in our community itself. Uh, but just know, no matter what happens, no matter what we face, God is in control. And we can have faith in Him. We, we can trust in Him. Uh, again, the, we see in Scripture, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your path. And although we don't understand why this is happening, and we don't understand uh, what's going to happen in our near future, just know that, that even before this took off even before the the coronavirus even was a a thought in our mind god knew what was going to take place god is in control and we can trust in his sovereignty we can trust in his his uh provisions for our life as his church as as the body of christ so we will be friendly we will have faith and number three we will not fear again going along with our with our faith we are not to be people of fear. We know that God has all things in his hand. He is in control uh, no matter what happens, no matter what trials or sorrows or, or anything that we, we face, knowing that God is in control. For it says in 2 Timothy, Paul writes, he says, For God gave us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. He says in Philippians, he says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And although we should be cautious and we should be, uh, we should be going through uh, following the procedures and, and, and acting and, 
doing everything that we can to stay healthy and safe and protecting those uh, who are around us. We should not live in fear, but live by faith and trust in and know that God is in control. So again, seek Him in prayer, seek Him often, and we will get through this together. And lastly, I wanted us to remember uh, uh, first, we will be friendly, we will have faith, we will not fear, but lastly, we will remain focused. And in a, a time of, of chaos like this, sometimes it's easy to lose focus, even for the church. Now we, as the body of Christ, we are going to have to do things differently from this day forth, at least for a little while. We may not even be able to meet together on a Sunday morning, and, and all Although that brings sorrow to my heart, I know that, that the church is not a building, that the church is not, not a one, one place where we gather, but the church is the people. And although we may not be able to gather all together um, at this time, just know we can gather together either online or, or some, other, some other avenues of, of communication, stay in contact with each other because we are the church. We are the body of Christ, and we have been placed in this community, I believe, for a purpose and for a reason. And at no better time than this can we go and offer hope, offer the good news to those around us. And it says in Mark, Jesus says to his disciples, he says, Go into the world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation. Now, we remember our focus of 2020 of connecting with our communities by meeting people where they are just as Jesus did. Um, when, when I think of good news, I also think of bad news. And our world, is our, our community right now, it's full of bad news. That's all they're hearing. That's all people are hearing is bad news when they turn on the TV. But know that we as the church, we have good news. And that good news is no matter what happens, no matter what we face, no matter what trials or viruses we may stand against, knowing that we know that God is is in control that God is with us so we will be friendly we will have faith we will not fear and yes we will remain focused here throughout this pandemic thank you and good night and I hopefully I will see you soon God bless